What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again today and today I have got something it's not quite what I was looking for. I went into Iceland on the lookout for a spaghetti carbonara. Now I've had this particular brand in mind because I haven't tried any of their stuff from the branded section in Iceland from that freezer so I thought you know what even though it's quite expensive you're probably playing for the brand name I thought it's a, it's a food review channel I've got to um I've got to try these things no matter if they are they do cost over the top so this was four pound now like I said my favorite type of pasta is probably carbonara I love the white pasta sauce and the ham or bacon or whatever's in a normal carbonara but it's like that's my go-to my girls however like a bit of uh, spaghetti bolognese uh, as long as it doesn't include cheese which I can't have it without cheese so they didn't have any carbonara in that my local Iceland so I had to get spaghetti bolognese and it's by the brand Piccolino now they have restaurants dotted around all over the shop so I'm hoping that this is going to be pretty good it needs to be because it's 400 grams of spaghetti bolognese and it's four pound that's right four pound for a ready meal effectively hopefully it's um, restaurant quality it does say the authentic taste of piccolino restaurants at home I'll be the judge of that although I've never been to a piccolino restaurant <laughs> so I can't really compare so I'm just gonna presume it's gonna be this uh, this this is gonna be correct that statement there is gonna be correct so and I'll tell you now if the restaurants are rubbish or not because I've got one here at home four quid or currently at the time of filming could change all the time it's in the three for ten pound at Iceland where you can mix and match from the whole store so a little bit about what about three pound thirty three so maybe a little bit better but if you're buying on its own it's four quid at the moment so let's have a look at this box Piccolino so it is quite a big box for a ready meal, but like I say, it is still only 400 grams, so maybe it's they've thinned it down, maybe, I don't know. It's very, very good branding. It looks and feels expensive. Obviously, it is expensive. So it says spaghetti bolognese, rich minced beef ragu and spaghetti with pecorino cheese. I don't know what that is. Restaurant quality made in Italy, Italian foods. 400 grams, and there it is. So looks like any other spaghetti bolognese is it worth paying this extra money you know the old saying you get what you pay for so let's see what it says here so the authentic taste of piccolino restaurants at home italy's diverse cooking is the heart and soul of piccolino we visit regions we visit the regions meet the producers and are all committed to sourcing the best quality seasonal ingredients to bring you amazing classic italian dishes to your home so the ingredients then 60% beef ragu 24% of that is beef that means that 30 36% is tomato puree <laughs> okay 37% pasta right so pecorino cheese is sheep's milk it's made from so you've got wheat celery and milk as the allergens in this and that is the nutritional information info Per 100 grams it does, so it's not four, so you've got to times all this by four. So it's a 600 calorie meal. You've got, what's that, 612? Over 25, 26, 27 grams of past, um, protein in this. And a little bit of uh, information there, although not a lot. It says cooked spaghetti pasta with minced beef ragu. <laughs> so it also says it may contain mustard and sesame seeds. There's an IT sticker there, so that's Italy. So obviously producing Italy for Iceland foods. And we can microwave it, which we're going to do, because I'm not going to put the oven on for 30 minutes. I don't feel like pasta dishes, unless it's pasta bake, when you need it crisping up, I don't feel like it's beneficial to oven it anyway, because you can microwave pasta, because it's already cooked, really. So remove our packaging, do not pierce or open the film, place on a microwave plate, cook for seven minutes. The bag will inflate during cooking. Stand for one minute, carefully cut open and stir before serving. Right, so it's like it's like a steam then. Let's have a look at this then. Let's get straight into it. There's no tab system, it's just a really good solid box. So it should open no problem and it did. Wow, so it's literally looks like plastic. It looks like fake food because it's got this like plasticky 
plastic bag around it and you don't pierce do not pierce or open it you bang it straight in like that and then this bag will inflate so i'll bring you back in seven minutes when it's ready to cut the bag open i've never seen anything like that do not pierce or take it out of there just let it and the bag is going to inflate so i've got to keep an eye on this because it might pop see you in seven minutes well the bag did actually inflate it was like a bubble but by the time i've got the camera on it's now gone down so we've got to cut this cut it out of this bag now so bring it out here we'll cut it out of this bag and get it on the plate so let's see how this goes i've got quite a big plate here we've got no uh, our normal size plates clean so it's a bit of a faff to get out to be fair however it's out so give it a stir it says I'm not sure that the the bag inflation and all that sort of stuff is necessary unless it's going to make the pasta softer or something like that with it being steamed rather than um, just like nuked maybe the pasta was partially cooked and it's just finished cooking or something I'm not sure I'm gonna get it on this plate anyway and because you don't put it back in do I seven minutes bag will inflate stand for a minute stir before serving no that's it okay let's get it on here I'll give you a closer look. It's all important taste time. Now, there's not a lot of it. 400 grams, it doesn't seem like there's that much here. So we're gonna just try the sauce on its own here at first. See what this beef ragu sauce is like. Cause recently, I made a, a lamb ragu hello fresh, a lamb and mushroom hello fresh pasta dish and it was fantastic and that came in at, well with that 60% discount that I can get um, it came in at like £1.50 a portion or something like that so this is four quid for one, that's four quid on its own I'm not a fan of that the tomato's good but that beef, there's only 24% beef out of the 53% um, beef ragu. So the beef is like bitter, it's really tiny, it's like, it tastes, it's not a bad, it's not a good um, description, but it tastes, it tastes like bits, it tastes like tiny, tiny, tiny specks of beef instead of, not chunky, but yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not great. I'm hoping that the pasta saves it. The tomato sauce has got a bit of flavour to it, it's not bad. I'm hoping that the pasta actually saves it because of the um, the way it was cooked, the steaming element of it, rather than just, I know it was microwave, but like, you know, you can steam vegetables and things in bags. So I'm hoping that this pasta is going to be deluxe compared to like your cheap, your cheap ones, because you can get spaghetti bolognese from your local Aldi or Morrison's like Sabre menu or Just Essentials, and they're about a pound, 90p pound. That mince tastes like the same as that. So I'm hoping the pasta is what sets this apart. Here we go. Okay, so the pasta is very good. The pasta, the, pasta, the spaghetti is very, very good. Definitely think that that inflation of the bag creates that nice pasta the pasta is very good however is it four quid good i don't think it is i won't buy that again i won't even buy it free for 10 pound it's not worth it my first ever try at the piccolino brand I might try the um, spaghetti carbonara because I really like spaghetti carbonara a lot so I might feel a little bit differently about that. I might try that in the future. But for me, it's not great. The pasta was fantastic but the sauce just lets it down. And the sauce is where you get your flavour. The pasta is more texture, nice, 
but the, the sauce is where you get your flavour and that's what it's lacking. Great pasta, bad flavour, 6 out of 10, not worth 4 quid, not even worth a 3 for a tenner. Sorry Piccolino, maybe one day I'll try your restaurant. But for today, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you tomorrow. Did somebody say just Special. Wouldn't buy that again.